So this spring, annual wage negotiations resulted in some of the biggest wage hikes in decades for the Japanese unions. Do you think this wage hike is beginning of a sustainable wage growth in Japan, or is this something that is temporary? Considering that wages in Japan had not risen for more than 10 years, it's natural that wages will be raised this time, and the trend will probably continue. Even if there are differences in levels in each industry, it's probably better to think of it as a continuing trend. The Bank of Japan will have a new governor and new deputy governors next month. What is your outlook for the central bank this year and how will it impact Nippon Yusen? Given that we've seen negative impacts from the rapid rate rises in the US recently, it's quite difficult for the new Bank of Japan leaders to exit from the current policy and start raising rates. I think current policies will continue to a certain extent. There hasn't been any negative impact on our company's performance from the current policy. So I don't see any issue if the policies stays as is. Last year, the yen saw historic weakness against the dollar. And how are you looking at the currency markets this year and how will it impact your company management? This is really the most difficult question. And since I've been working as CFO for the past year, I've been wrong the whole time. However, we expect it will be around 130 yen per dollar, at least through 2023. And after that, it will settle down to around 120. Most of our income will be in dollars. So if the yen depreciates, our income will improve accordingly. With geopolitical risks and tensions rising, there's a shift away from globalized economy to block economy. How will that impact the shipping industry as a whole? Of course, there's the impact of geopolitical risks. And in addition to that, production areas will likely change in response to population increases in Southeast Asia and Africa. It makes more sense to move production sites closer to consumers. I also think that the logistics will shift. It's said that the block economy will progress more and more in the future under such circumstances. Automakers, not just Japanese, but also in the US and France, have moved their production closer to consumption areas. We said the economic zone would narrow more and more because of this. But, in reality, there's no such movement in the last 10 years. I don't deny the possibility of economic zones narrowing and turning into a block economy, but I still have a little bit of a hard time figuring out whether or not that's really going to happen unless I take a closer look. To be honest, I would say no. So at the end of last year, Japanese insurance providers temporarily halted the provision of marine hull war insurance amid the war in Ukraine. With the war ongoing and risks still present, what kind of support measures would you like the Japanese government to provide? It's obvious that transporting cargo on ships without insurance is a very dangerous act. At the end of last year, the insurance company suddenly notified us that we could not renew our war insurance. We were quite flustered then, but in the end, we found an insurance company, so our operation has not been impacted. However, the insurance has become stricter than it used to be, and we have adopted the practice of adding war insurance for one voyage at a time. This has made our situation very unstable, as insurance for each voyage is not guaranteed. In this situation, government support will naturally be necessary. We are currently asking the government for their help. Japan has a target to go carbon neutral by 2050. Um, what specific measures are necessary for the shipping industry to reach climate change goals? Ships emit an extremely large amount of CO2. We can reduce the CO2 by switching from LNG to other fuels. We can reduce emissions to zero if we switch to ammonia or hydrogen. However, in order to do this, we will have to gradually replace the ships, which will take a very long time. So we have to do everything we can right now. And one of the best ways to reduce CO2 emissions is to slow down the speed of ships, which we call slow steaming. It will take years to change the alternative fuels and order new ships, but we will continue making efforts and do everything we can.